Hey guys, it's Cass and in today's video I'm going to be going to the GPO reopening uh, in Brisbane. So that's like the old post office. I don't know. Anyway, I just got back from taking my dog for a walk. He is a little Shih Tzu puppy. You guys have probably seen him on my social media. His name's Ewok. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to start getting ready. So let's Let's do that. Uh, I got some new products that are like really good for dry legs because in this weather I get like really, really dry legs unless I'm like constantly moisturizing. But even sometimes then it's not helping. So I got this hyaluronic body serum from Frank Body at Mecca. It wasn't very expensive either. It's like a big bottle. It smells like peaches and you put it on after you have a shower to like lock in all of the moisture. I also have the Sol de Janeiro. <laughs> it's like the bum bum cream, but not the like orange one that everyone gets. This one's really, really nice and moisturizing. And I have also just recently purchased, let me go into my little shower caddy, glycolic body scrub from Frank Body as well. It is fantastic. You just scrub it on, leave it on for like a minute and then wash it off. So I've been doing that and my legs have not been as dry. I've also got to do the dreaded shower routine like shaving, etc. What just happened to my voice? But I don't have to wash my hair, which is amazing because I'm actually going to do like a slick bun. So it actually helps if my hair isn't like freshly washed. I also made this massive iced matcha and I'm currently looking at threads because that just opened up on Instagram. It's like the new Twitter. What do you guys think about this, by the way? Okay, whoa. Um, <laughs> Alrighty, so I am going to start by going in with a little bit of foundation. It's just the Double Wear um, ST Lorde one. Hello. So that's the foundation that I'll be using. I usually just wear like concealer and powder, but just for tonight because I'm not really sure if there's going to be like professional photography and stuff. Um, and obviously it's a bit nicer of an event. I will go in with like a really light base. I've already done my skincare a bit earlier today, so I'm just gonna leave that um, on and go in with this. And I'll be using this one here. It is a hourglass concealer. I really like this one. It's very like satiny and yeah, the finish on that one's very nice. I'll just be using a Nude by Nature mineral powder to go over the top of that and kind of set all of it. And yeah, so that will be the base. All right, so I've done the base. Then I'll be going in with this Mecca Max, uh, what do you call it? Contour. I just do a tiny bit like along the cheekbone area here. I just do Three little dots okay a little uh and then i do a tiny bit on my nose just like that and just a really faint line just there and that's kind of all i do for contour i actually never used to contour um which is so bad but now i do uh i'm also probably going to be using this uh, blush from Charlotte Tilbury just because I do have like a more burgundy kind of colored dress and the other blush that I have with it I don't think it'll go as well. I also have the Glowgasm highlighter by Charlotte Tilbury as well so I'll be using that too and yeah then that's kind of all it for the base of my face uh, obviously I just did the foundation and everything but yeah, so we'll blend this in, put the blush on, and then move on to the eyes and eyebrows. Okay, so the 
base portion, am I okay? The base portion of my makeup is done. What the actual? I can promise you the camera is picking it up weirdly. Oh my god. Okay. Hold on. Okay, I fixed it, I think. It looks fine in real life. I promise you. But we're going to get started with the eye makeup. So I did buy these two yesterday at Mecca. I have a dark brown one, like an eyeliner, and a dark brown cream eyeshadow. I really like cream eyeshadow because I just do. And then I have an organic mascara that I use, which is from Inica. Uh, and this one's like the Curvy Lash wand. It looks like that. So it's pretty cool. And then for the eyebrows, I have never done my eyebrows up until literally like last week. Uh, and I got this Kosas little brow thickening thingo. So it's like a little bit of gel. And then use that and like brush them up. <laughs> but I don't like to use too much because as I said, I'm not used to doing my eyebrows. So let's see how it all goes. And then for lip, I'm using a NARS uh, lipstick. It's a, it's one of the air matte ones. It's like pretty nude because I didn't want to do like really bold lipstick and a really bold dress. Sometimes it can be a little much. Okay. <laughs> what am I, a triceratops? I'm a little lost on what to do with my hair. Um, I'm definitely not wearing it down. But I don't know if I should do like a kind of updo or like a tight bun. Because when it's windy... It will all get blown away. Alrighty, so this is the finished look. I did a slick low bun. I sometimes do like a high bun, but I really wanted to have my hair this way and not like pulled back. I have these little earrings in. So yeah, I'm super excited to go to the event. It is going to be pretty fun, I hope. And some nice drinks, some nice food. And yeah, so let's get going. I took a little while to get ready because I stuffed up one of my eyebrows and I had to redo it. That's what you get for not practicing your eyebrows for a really long time. Also, my dress is like a, um, a backless moment. I'll show you obviously proper clips of it and you'll see photos on Insta. But yeah, it's very cute and it's got like not a train behind it but is like slightly longer at the back Ooh, this lighting over here is pretty nice too all right so we're outside and it looks pretty nice i'm pretty sure there's like three different venues in here so let's go check it out okay so i have this big ass mustard jacket on because um it's freezing right now but inside you can't even see that either it's fine i don't know how to work this camera yet You can speak. I give you permission to speak on my on my channel. Are you currently? Hey, you are so good. Hello. Hello. So my name like wasn't on the list, and I had a feeling it's because I had a feeling it's because they spelled it wrong because they always spell my name like Cassie. Or, yes. Um. But we got cards to a caviar and Dom Perignon tasting. So, there you go. Which button do I press?
tasting that I was talking about just before. It is there. Um, but yeah, it's like extremely bougie here. It's just so weird to think that this used to be like the Jeep Yoke, so I think it used to be kind of trash from what I heard. Don't at me on that. Oh my god, my head looks condensed. Like milk. Okay, so we're seated at the moment at this huge dinner table for the tasting. I thought it was going to be more of like a stand thing, but apparently not. No, 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 it's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, trying to steal someone's seat. Can't take him anywhere. I thought that was wine. Um, anyway, yeah. Take some wine. Take some wine. Little, um, spoon thingies. Hold on. Press the screen so it focuses on it. The caviar. No, touch the screen. It needs to focus on it. No, no, no. With a finger of yours. No, on the spoon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Look at this spoon. Yeah, you see that? Anyway, it's like a pearl spoon for the caviar. <laughs> These are some of the cocktails that they're offering. Feel free to pause. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, it keeps going. We're not going to get through all of that. and like the little skewers they have there there was some beautiful food in here I did show like a little clip of it but it wasn't enough like I'm famished uh, the cocktails are amazing as well I'd probably have to say that this is like one of actually no the best like 
Brisbane, oh shivers, Brisbane event that I've ever been to. Like the Dom Perignon tasting, we were so lucky to get into that. Apparently it was limited spots, so it must have just been because we got there early. Um, yeah, just, oh, all so good. But yeah, we're heading to dinner now, so we'll do some little clips there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Someone get him some meds. I think it's just because he's had a little bit too much to drink because he was drinking all of my drinks as per usual. Can't let her drink the drinks. I literally can't even, I don't even know what he's saying. So we're at Soko right now. Beautiful. I love like the greenery and everything in here. But we're gonna get the like, um, I'm kind of not wasted. I'm like tipsy. My vision's already bad, like to begin with. So when Anyway, the Akuma Jungle. It donates a dollar to a tree. <laughs> anyway, we're also getting sushi and stuff. I love doing these close-ups. Look into my eyes. This is the edamame hummus, and this stuff is so good. That's all seaweed on the top there. choked on my drink because it has like chili in it and that's why my voice is so I don't know what's happening with it now but that's like us for tonight so I will see you guys again soon I hope you enjoy it